fragrances that I can wear all year round? Are you kidding me? No, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna show you one. I'm not gonna show you two. But I'm gonna show you six fragrances that you can wear all year round. Are you ready? Nice. Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the video. If you're new here, my name is Curtis. And yeah, today I'm gonna to be showing you six fragrances that can work all year round. And why did I pick these six fragrances? Well, number one, they have a scent profile that's versatile enough to work through any season. And they also, you know, have the performance to push through uh, any season. So they are all quite strong. So, you know, depending on how you you, you probably need to manage the sprays in certain seasons, um, but you know, they definitely can work well in all four seasons. So if you're curious to see the fragrances that I've chosen, then let's go. So first up from the house of Jeroboam, we have Vespero. So this one has to be one of my favorites from the house. It's the perfect combination of kind of fruity, uh, but also woody notes and it's blended very well it has a very multifaceted nature and it kind of goes from bright to dark but not you know dark to the point to where you couldn't wear it in like warmer temperatures but basically what you get here it kind of goes down kind of that aventus uh dna but it's not a clone uh, by any means and i don't know i guess you could argue that it might be an inspired by fragrance but it goes on a totally different path than Aventus, but it, it definitely kind of uh, has Aventus-like vibes. Uh, but this one has fantastic performance and it's a compliment getter. Um, I'll tell you a little story. So uh, I had worn this fragrance out one evening. I stopped by a convenience store and I was going to check out. I think I had bought some water or something. And when I put my water on the counter, I had knocked over a box of some other items. So I bent down to pick it up. And when I came back up, the the staff there was like, oh my gosh, you smell really, really good. What are you wearing? And so of course I told her, oh, you know, it's it's um, Vespero by Jeroboam. She had no clue. She had never heard of that fragrance, but she was like, ah, you choose well, this fragrance smells so good. So, and I mean, that's not the only time. I mean, typically when I wear this fragrance, it, it gets compliments for me. And, you know, I, I'm not wearing this fragrance to get compliments, but of course, it's always kind of nice when you do get compliments. It's a great one. This one has fantastic performance. And also, if you're not familiar with the House of Jeroboam, basically they're the sister company of Javoy. You may be more familiar with Javoy. Um, but yeah, I love Jeroboam. They produce uh, 30 ml straight to parfum concentrations. And yeah, they are all very high quality fragrances that I absolutely love. Um, I, I have a few fragrances from this house and I love all of them. Uh, but I think this one, Vespero, is my favorite and it's definitely the most versatile. Um, but yeah, this is a great fragrance. If you haven't checked out anything from the house of Jeroboam, you definitely should. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Vespero by Jeroboam. Next up from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn, we have Gentle Fluidity Silver. So this one is an elegant and charismatic fragrance. It doesn't lean to the sporty side. It is quite fresh and it gives off gin and tonic type vibes. And the reason it does that is because this fragrance has a heavy dose of juniper berry. And typically in fragrance, uh, when fragrances have juniper berry, it kind of gives off that vibe of like gin and tonic. Um, but yeah, this is a fresh one and it is a beast on performance. So you don't need to spray a whole lot with this one. I do maybe two sprays. Occasionally I'll do three, but it does push off quite heavily and it lasts, you know, 10 plus hours. This one has crazy performance. So, you know, be warned. Um, but yeah, overall the scent profile here is extremely pleasant and yeah, it's an easy wear for sure. So basically what you get here is you get that heavy dose of juniper berry in the top. Um, it, it is very fresh. As this fragrance starts to dry down, you get slight hints of amber and vanilla that start to push forward. However, this fragrance remains fresh uh, throughout the life. 
Um, it's a great one and definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite from the house. Uh, so yeah, if you can get yourself a sample of Gentle Fluidity Silver by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Next up from the house of Nishane, we have Papi Le Fico. So basically what you get with this one is sexy cardamom vibes. It definitely has a balsamic feel to it, uh, but also you get kind of a, a bit of moss here, which gives it, I don't know, kind of like a, a slight earthiness, but overall this is quite a spicy, resinous, and slightly balsamic smelling fragrance that is just extremely sexy in my opinion, and it's very easy wear. Um, this one was perfumed by one of my favorite perfumers, Dominique Ropion. He's done a phenomenal job here, and I really, really enjoy the sillage that this one leaves. It's gorgeous. What I will say with this fragrance is if you live in a very uh, humid climate, that you can definitely still wear it, but you need to manage the sprays. I would probably go quite light on the trigger, as this one has a slight sweetness about it that could be cloying if it's oversprayed, if you live in a very humid climate. So, you know, just manage the sprays and you'll be fine. This one's a very versatile scent and one that I absolutely love from the house of Nishane. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Papi Le Fico by Nishane. Next up from the house of Amouage, we have Beach Hut Man. So this one's a very classic but not dated profile. It does smell slightly mature, but gosh, I love this one. It has a very prominent uh, mint and ivy note in here. It's quite green, and that's also coming from the galbanum here. But yeah, this one reminds me of kind of, you know, on a journey through the jungle and all the roughage and foliage that I'm kind of smelling as I'm stepping on like leaves, brushing up against branches and things like that. Yeah, this one doesn't really give me vibes of being on the beach at all, uh, more so of kind of going through the jungle, I guess. But yeah, this one is just very, very unique. It also con contains the note of ivy, and I don't have any other fragrances in my collection that have that particular note. So yeah, this one is just very unique, and it is a beast on performance two sprays and you're good for the entire day. It's a room filler. So just remember that, you know, don't ruin the experience for others around you and for yourself. Uh, <laughs> this one lingers in the air. It's serious, serious stuff. Um, so, you know, go easy on the trigger. But this is one of my favorites from the house. And yeah, it's one to check out if you enjoy kind of green, slightly minty, slightly earthy smelling fragrances, this is one to check out right here. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Beach Up Man by Amouage. Next up from the house of Mansara, we have Vetiver Sensual. All right, so if you're looking for a vetiver fragrance that, ex that is extremely soapy, clean, and easy to wear, this has to be one of the best fragrances for that. It's very, just very fresh, clean, uh, you know, quite fun, and re but also refined smelling. And yeah, this is an easy wear and it has the performance to push through those cold temperatures, um, but it is remains very, very fresh. It doesn't really have like so much of a, a damp, earthy quality about it, like you might find in like, Sultan Vetiver. It's just very fresh and almost soapy-like. I love this one. It's an easy wear and I'm looking forward to rocking this heavily in the spring and summer temperatures. This one is a good one, you guys. If you haven't checked out Vetiver Sensual, you definitely should. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Vetiver Sensual by Mansara. And finally, from the House of Essential Parfum, we have Bois Imperial. So this one is basically woody metallic freshness in a bottle. It is a beast on performance, so you only need a couple sprays, and this will last all day long. I'm not kidding. So this one was perfumed by Quentin Biche. He's definitely one of my favorite perfumers. He also perfumed Ganymede. 
So I guess you could say in a way, it's kind of an inspired by fragrance um, since he did perfume both fragrances. So it kind of goes down the path of Ganymede, but takes a slight turn, but it definitely resembles Ganymede slightly. But this, I would say, uh, this one is probably an easier wear and this one is a big compliment getter as well. So people just tend to gravitate towards this and really, really enjoy it. Um, and what I can say about this brand, Essential Parfum, they produce very high quality niche fragrances for just a steal of a price. I mean, gosh, they could charge so much more for this fragrance. It's that good. So I really, really appreciate them and enjoy their approach. Um, they don't spend a whole lot of money on packaging. If you've ever seen a package from Essential Parfums, basically it just comes in like little cardboard slots and you just pull this off of the cardboard and there's like just like a bit of cardboard wrapped around to secure it. But yeah, they're, they're putting more of their cost into the fragrance versus putting it into the packaging. So I mean, if you're someone who collects um, boxes from the fragrances, then you know, this may not be something you're so interested in, but for me, I don't really keep the boxes so much. So I'm, I'm more, um, you know, concerned with the juice, what's inside the bottle. And this one is definitely worth it. Um, they're doing it right, Essential Parfums. But yeah, this is a great one, easy wear, very fresh, woody, slightly metallic, um, but overall pleasant and it's a love for me. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Bois Imperial by Essential Parfums. All right guys, so that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And let me know down in the comment section what fragrances that you have in your collection that you would consider all year round fragrances. Uh, I'd love to hear about them. So I hope you guys are staying healthy and well, and I'll see you in the next video.